Alicia Jenish McCarran, Executive Chef at LinkedIn San Francisco, part of the Artisan Restaurant Collection, and today is August 15th, Julie Child's birthday! As you know, I am a huge fan of Julie Child, and there's a lot to be a fan of. Her cookbooks, Volume 1 and 2, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, are just incredible, and this book is really fun, The French Chef Cookbook. This highlights episode by episode her first cooking series on PBS. It's hilarious, there's drawings by her husband, it's a wonderful book. And I thought it would be appropriate to celebrate her birthday by doing one of my favorite recipes of hers, Beef Bourguignon. So let's get started and bon appetit! Okay, for our beef bourguignon, we'll need about three pounds of beef stew meat. I really like beef chuck for stew. Then we need an onion, carrot, celery, some thyme, garlic, tomato paste, red wine, some stock, some bacon lardon, cut into these little strips, that's what lardon means. And then to garnish, we're gonna do some mushrooms that we'll saute, we'll braise some pearl onions, and I'm gonna serve mine with some potatoes and some really fresh parsley to garnish. There we go. We'll start by browning our lardon in an oven-proof pan that we'll make our bourguignon in. As our bacon is browning, I trimmed the top and the tail of my pearl onions and I'm soaking them in water. That makes it really easy to peel them. Okay, now that our bacon is rendered, I put it aside in a bowl and I still left the fat in the pan. And now I'm going to carefully add my beef in a single layer so it'll take several batches to brown it. And then once I get in the pan, I'll season it with salt and pepper. And we want to make sure we brown it on all sides. Okay, so now we've set aside all of our browned beef and we have all that nice goodness in there. And so we will sweat off our carrots and onion. And then once those are sweated off, we'll add in our celery. Okay, so our vegetables were nice and cooked down and I put my meat and the bacon back in the pan. And this is where Julia gets really interesting. She puts the flour in now and she'll do a nice coating of the meat and um, then put it in the oven for about four to five minutes, 450 degrees, stir it up, put it back in the oven, four to five minutes, then reduce the temperature and finish building the braise. So let's go to it. Okay, so we've browned um, our beef with the flour in the oven, and now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and set it to braise in the oven. So I have the garlic, bay leaf, thyme, and tomato paste. I have our red wine. I love these little cans, they're the perfect amount for something like this. Once you get that red wine in, make sure you um, scrape the bottom. Um, when you brown meat, you form a fond on the bottom of the pan, and that really creates a huge amount of depth of flavor for your braise. So you wanna make sure to scrape that all up. It's already getting thick with that flour. And then we're gonna add our stock, just to cover the meat. Um, so we'll bring this up for, to a simmer and then put our top on and put it in a now 325 degree oven until um, the meat is tender. So I would check it after an hour and a half. Um, just pull a little piece out. Doo, doo, doo. You don't want it to fall apart, but you want it to be able to, I call it the smoosh test, take a piece with your finger and be able to go and the meat should and that means your braise is done. So our stew meat is tender, it is nice and thick, it looks amazing. Julia at this point would strain off the sauce to thicken it and take the fat off, but our sauce looks really good and thick. So I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and then remove a little bit of that fat, saute my pearl onions and mushrooms, cook my potatoes and get ready for dinner. Looks amazing, Julia. So Julia cooked very classically, and that's why she does her pearl onions and her mushrooms separate from her stew. A lot of people throw all that together, but the flavors kind of get muddled, 
and the integrity of the vegetables. So um, she always butter braised her pearl onions and sauteed um, her mushrooms. I'm gonna take one little step and do them together. I'll, I will start with my mushrooms in some butter. And then once they start getting some color, I'll deglaze with a little vermouth that I happen to have from her cocktail. And then I'll add my mushrooms in and cook those until they're nice and brown. And then you can use that to garnish your beef bourguignon. Here's the finished beef bourguignon. So delicious, so hearty. That gravy is so thick. Potatoes, parsley, and bon appetit!